Hey y'all, what's up? It's Aleem. Uh, I got a couple questions from y'all asking what app builder did I use to build the app that I got an offer to sell? Um, I used Flutterflow and Flutterflow is honestly one of my favorite no code tools right now. Um, it's a drag and drop mobile app builder and the mobile app compiles to native code and it's using Flutter as the underlying technology. So as you can see from their website, a uh, very intuitive drag and drop interface. Um, if you have any basic experience in web design, um, you should be able to pick this up pretty quick. Um, and yes, it has backend built in. So it it's, uh, uses Firebase, which acts, at your, acts as your authentic authentication provider and your database provider. And the database is Firebase uh, Firestore. So it's real time. And honestly, it, it's very scalable. And if you want to get started and you're you know uh, concerned about budget, you don't need to be because everything honestly, until like a few hundred to a thousand users can be covered under the free plan. So I'll quickly show you like the app that I've built. It's called Virally. Uh, it's currently on the app store. Um, it uses GPT-3. So very trending, popular AI technology out right now, as y'all know. And uh, it's for social media creators to generate hashtags, captions, and content ideas. So uh, for example, if I am a, um, uh, a content creator for cooking, I can come in and say, hey, give me 10 Indian food recipes and it will spit me out 10 different recipes for Indian food. So powered by GBT3, a very cool, useful tool. We do have paying customers, so it is generating some passive income, which is awesome. Um, it took me about 45 days to build the whole app. I got some help from some friends um, and I did have to write a Node.js backend. So um, since it utilizes that unique GBT3 technology, um, I had to write a backend endpoint to actually you know, compute the suggestions using AI. So this is what the editor looks like once you're in and you can see that like each element on the page um, kind of highlights, you know, so this is a text element. I can set the variable here. This is a button. And if I go to the action flow editor, this is where I can edit what happens on click of the button. And so you can see that there's this visual tree that comes up um, that handles uh, the click and what actually happens. So I can have my business logic in here. And each one of these blocks can be of various types. It can be a REST API call, it can be a database insert, update, delete, CRUD operation. You can even do if else statements and um, honestly very, very intuitive and also surprisingly easy to debug. It has a, a live debug feature so you can literally just hot reload and, and test out your changes. Um, if any of y'all ever have app ideas and you want to create an app without having to write code, highly recommend Flutterflow. Um, personally, don't think I'm going to um, ever need to like write code if I have an indie project I want to work on. If there's something that's like super, super custom, um, I may write it myself, but for 80, 90% of the use cases, you can easily get away with Flutterflow. Um, we'll be doing more tutorials on this in the Ambitious app, so stay, tu uh, stay tuned. Yeah, follow me for more. See ya.